Now then we've been joined by somebody who's done it all, pop star, TV presenter, West End star, and now Kim Ryder can be found pulling pints in the <laughs> Rover's Return. Uh, before we talk to Kim, let's see her in action in her new role in Coronation Street. Oh, hello, sexy. Hiya, Vern. Michelle, I take it? You're early. You certainly know how to make a good first impression. I hope so. I know how important punctuality is. Use of our work, are you? I've worked in town mostly, but all sorts of places, restaurants and all. You've not served proper food till you brandish Betty's hot pot. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well, you best come round here and have a skin. You haven't seen that, had you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, though. Thank you. <laughs> What's it been like? It's just been amazing, honestly. I can honestly say I'm having the time of my life over there. It's just a fabulous place to work. So. Were you worried about sort of turning up on the set and them and, and, and the actors, you know, these are dedicated actors that have been through stage school and, and theatre school and, and trained, sort of turning around and going, oh, you know, she's a pop star trying to turn into a, an actor? Well, yeah, there's always that worry that, you know, and, and also people that don't work on the show outside as kind of general public may be thinking the same thing, but actually everyone's been fabulous, you know, people have kind of not pigeonholed me, which is really great, you know, I've been given the chance to to do something like this. So. How, how, did, how did you sort of get into it? How did you know you could act? Have you studied acting? Well, I, I did when I was younger mm. and I was always kind of, you know, acting and singing was, was what I wanted to do and it just seemed to happen. It was just so so happens that the kind of singing overtook yeah. everything else. Um, so I've always been really interested in it. But then when I did the West End and I was in Saturday Night Fever, mm. I got a taste for it again and I just, I just really thought I'd like to kind of pursue it a bit more. And Michelle is a great character as well, very flirty. She is, yes. The men love her. She is. They do. They're quite taken with her. <laughs> <laughs> Must be good fun to play, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's, she's a great character, you know. She's, she's great. Well, what's it like, you know, seeing all these guys and having Fred behind the bar with you and, and Liz everywhere, you know, Liz and the girls sort of not quite so taken with you? Yeah. It's, it's, it's mad, really. It really is. I think the first day I went back, you know, one of my, you know, I mean, that was my first scene in the Rovers kind of thing. And you're standing you there nervous? with... Yeah, with kind of Fred Elliott and then you have to serve Rita Morris and you're kind of like a bit, you know... And plus, I'd never worked in a bar in my life. <laughs> kind of Everyone's done some going, bar work. You'd never pull the pint. <laughs> Ever. And how's your, how's your action now? Is it any good to the... It's all right. It's got a head like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad. It'll get better. <laughs> um, now, look, I w just, it was a couple of weeks ago that, that I was reading a, uh, an interview that you'd done and I suddenly noticed that Kim Marsh has become Kim Ryder. Yeah. What, what's happened? Well, obviously, I know what's happened, but you got <laughs> married four years ago yesterday. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Why have you suddenly decided to take your, your married name? Well, I've been Kim Ryder for four years for everything, but my professional life mm. you know so um and i'd always wanted to change it and at the time when we got married i was just about to launch my solo career so my management at the time thought maybe it wasn't the right time to do it because it would have been a bit confusing and mm. everything else so um so now i i decided well you know this is a whole new era and i can start from scratch so so have you put the singing behind you i know the, i know michelle the character is going to do some singing because she's yeah. a singer but have you put the idea of of going back into pop music and being a pop star on hold um, I have, yeah, I definitely have. I mean, I'd love to stay at Corrie a bit longer, you know, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, because um, I'm, I'm having a great time and I'm really enjoying the acting side of things. So, you know, that, I mean, I never say never, but, you know, that's where I want to go I mean, in the foreseeable future. Uh, of course, the story of Hearsay is well known now and, 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 the, and the four of you getting together and, and the sort of the, the four of you, five of you, sorry. Yeah. Um, and, and the turmoil that ensued after it all fell apart and when you left and, and so on and so forth. Do you think that in the end, hearsay was um, one of the reasons your career didn't work when you went solo? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, hearsay is the reason that I'm sitting here talking to you, really, effectively. I mean, that was kind of my break, and I'm very grateful for that, you know. And I had some amazing times, and, you know, we obviously had some bad times, and we, also, we had some amazing times, and I've experienced some great things along the way, and, you know, it's opened a lot of opportunities up for me, so... Uh, what about this reunion? There was, there's, I've read in the paper there could be, I mean, Take That got, to, got back together and sold out Manchester City <laughs> uh, uh, Stadium, 58,000. Yeah. What, what about a hearsay reunion? I think people would pay us not to get back together. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's not true. <laughs> well, your first album, your album went, what, quadruple platinum? It did. It was amazing. No, it was a, it was a phenomenon, really. I mean, we, we kind of sold 500,000 copies of the first single in the first week alone. 
um, millions of records, you know, and uh, and we did incredibly well, and uh, I think we did better than anybody expected us to. But do, would you, do you ever see them? Do you ever see the? the... Yeah, I do. I see Suzanne, who's got an adorable little boy. Yeah. Um, I see Susie. I've I've, I've seen Danny, but uh, Danny kind of you know disappears every now and again, and then kind of pops his head back up. So, uh, and I see Mylene occasionally, but she's kind of really busy with her stuff as well. So. But could it happen? Could it happen? Could there be? A hearsay reunion? No, I don't think so. Maybe for charity, but not... Not, not officially? Not, no. <laughs> well, look, it's lovely to see you. Congratulations you. on the wedding anniversary as well. Thanks very it's much. It's really, really great. Thank and, you. and good luck with the ensuing acting crew and everything going on in Corrie. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Now.